The estimated population of Tapanuli orangutans is fewer than 800 individuals, making them exceedingly rare compared to other great apes such as chimpanzees, bonobos, gorillas, and other orangutan species. The Tapanuli orangutans are genetically isolated from other orangutan populations. Their unique genetic makeup distinguishes them as a separate species from Bornean and Sumatran orangutans. Classified as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the Tapanuli orangutan faces significant threats to its survival. Factors such as habitat loss, hunting, human wildlife conflict, and infrastructure development pose serious risks to their continued existence. Tapanuli orangutans have several distinct physical features and behaviors that set them apart from other orangutan species. These include frizzier hair, unique male long calls, and differences in skull and tooth morphology. The Tapanuli orangutans inhabit the Batang Toru Forest in North Sumatra, Indonesia. This forest is located in the Tapanuli region, which gives the orangutans their name. The Batang Toru Forest is situated in the southern part of the Tapanuli region, encompassing a range of montane and lowland forests. The habitat of Tapanuli orangutans includes diverse topographical features such as mountains, valleys, and steep terrain. This variety of landscapes provides different ecological niches for the orangutans to inhabit. The forest is characterized by lush tropical vegetation, including a variety of tree species such as dipterocarps, figs, and other fruit-bearing trees. The canopy is dense and provides ample opportunities for arboreal living, which is typical for orangutans. Rivers and streams flow through the Batang Toru forest, providing essential water sources for the orangutans and other wildlife. These water sources are crucial for the survival of the ecosystem and the species within it. The Batang Toru forest is home to a rich diversity of flora and fauna, including other endangered and endemic species such as the Sumatran tiger, Sumatran elephant, and various bird species. Protecting the habitat of the Tapanuli orangutans also helps conserve the broader biodiversity of the region. Tapanuli orangutans, like other orangutan species, play a crucial role in seed dispersal within their forest ecosystem, which in turn contributes to the health and diversity of the ecosystem. Orangutans consume a variety of fruits as part of their diet. When they eat fruits, they ingest the seeds along with the pulp. These seeds pass through the orangutan's digestive system relatively intact. After consumption, orangutans move through the forest, often traveling significant distances in search of food. As they move, they defecate, depositing the seeds in different locations throughout their range. In fragmented or degraded habitats, orangutans can play a role in restoring vegetation by dispersing seeds of native plant species. This process is particularly important for maintaining the integrity of forest ecosystems and supporting the survival of other wildlife species that depend on diverse habitats. Orangutans, including Tapanuli orangutans, are primarily solitary animals. Adult males tend to be more solitary than females, establishing large home ranges that may overlap with those of several females. They typically avoid direct confrontation and use vocalizations, gestures, and facial expressions to communicate with conspecifics. Tapanuli orangutans are well adapted to life in the trees. They spend most of their time in the forest canopy, moving through the trees using their strong arms and grasping feet. Their arboreal lifestyle allows them to access food resources such as fruits, leaves, bark, and insects while minimizing their exposure to ground-based predators. Orangutans have a varied diet, primarily consisting of fruits, but also including leaves, bark, flowers, and insects. They are opportunistic feeders, consuming a wide range of plant species depending on seasonal availability and local abundance. Tapanuli orangutans are known to travel long distances in search of food, exploiting different food sources within their home range. Orangutans construct nests in the trees where they rest and sleep at night. These nests are made from branches, leaves, and other vegetation and are built anew each day. 
Tapanuli orangutans exhibit sophisticated nest building skills, creating sturdy and comfortable structures high above the forest floor to avoid predators and disturbances. Male orangutans reach sexual maturity around 15 to 20 years of age, while females typically reach maturity earlier, around 10 to 15 years of age. Males attract mates through vocalizations and displays of dominance, including the use of their cheek pads. Female orangutans have a long interbirth interval, typically giving birth to a single offspring once every six to nine years. While orangutans are predominantly solitary, they do engage in social interactions, particularly during periods of overlap in home ranges or at key resources such as fruiting trees or water sources. Females may maintain loose social bonds with their offspring and other females, while adult males establish territories and compete for access to mates. Orangutans are known for their ability to use tools in various contexts, such as extracting insects from tree crevices, accessing fruit, or constructing nests. Tool use demonstrates their problem-solving abilities and adaptability to their environment. Orangutans are highly intelligent animals, capable of learning new behaviors and adapting to changing environmental conditions. They have been observed using innovative strategies to solve problems, navigate complex social dynamics, and exploit food resources. Orangutans, including Tapanuli orangutans, exhibit cultural traditions that are passed down from one generation to the next. These traditions can include specific behaviors related to food processing, nest building techniques, and vocalizations. Different populations of orangutans may exhibit distinct cultural practices, reflecting the transmission of learned behaviors within specific social groups. Orangutans communicate through a variety of vocalizations, facial expressions, and body language. Vocalizations play a crucial role in social interactions, including long calls by adult males to attract mates or establish territory boundaries. Orangutans also use gestures and facial expressions to convey emotions and intentions to other individuals. Tapanuli orangutans, particularly adult males, exhibit distinct facial features that include prominent cheek pads, which are also known as flanges. Adult male Tapanuli orangutans develop large cheek pads, or flanges, on either side of their face as they mature. These cheek pads are composed of fatty tissue and are supported by the development of the orangutan's skull and facial bones. The size and prominence of the cheek pads can vary among individuals, with some males displaying larger and more exaggerated flanges than others. The presence of cheek pads is a sexually dimorphic trait, meaning it is more pronounced in adult males compared to females and immature males. Cheek pads typically begin to develop in male orangutans around the age of 15 to 20 years, coinciding with sexual maturity and the onset of secondary sexual characteristics. Cheek pads serve as a visual indicator of male dominance and maturity within orangutan social groups. Large cheek pads are associated with higher testosterone levels and dominance rank in male orangutans. During social interactions, males may display their cheek pads to intimidate rivals or attract females during mating displays. Cheek pads may also play a role in communication among orangutans. Males may use visual displays, including the size and visibility of their cheek pads, to signal their social status, assert dominance, or establish territorial boundaries. Female orangutans may also assess male cheek pad size when choosing mates, as larger flanges are often associated with higher reproductive success. While cheek pads are a prominent feature of adult male Tapanuli orangutans, there can be considerable variation in the size, shape, and symmetry of the flanges among individuals. Factors such as genetics, age, health, and nutrition may influence the development and expression of cheek pads in male orangutans. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.